Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Tay Janice. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you right now with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, we love you so much. We adore you, Father God. God, I ask and pray that you help us to pay attention to those that are around us, that you help us, Lord God, so that we don't be too careful to, you know, um, not see a person's true heart and real intentions for us. God, I ask right now that you deliver us from making poor choices and bad decisions. Touch each and every person under the sound of my voice. We silence Every single Goliath that's speaking negative right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the title of this message is, They Tried to Hide. Yes, they tried to hide. You know, the Holy Spirit allowed me to know that it's somebody that's inside of your life. Could be a male, could be a female. And that person is jealous of your anointing, your gift, you know, your favor and the Lord, what the Lord has been doing for your life. They are jealous of that, you know, and that spirit that's within them is trying to hide, but he cannot hide any longer. Judas went to go betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, right? He went to go betray Jesus, an innocent person, and he had the audacity, you know, to come back in and say, you know, hey, after Jesus said, you know, um, and he felt in his spirit that one of you will, you know, betray me, one of you will, you know, um, turn me in pretty much, right? And he had the audacity to say, is it me? And he had 30 pieces of silver in his pocket, the audacity right so that spirit is sitting there with the audacity knowing that they envy you knowing that they are jealous of you knowing that they are praying for the right opportunity to you know take you out just like you are waiting on the right moment to be blessed so is the enemy the enemy is waiting on the right opportunity to be blessed so the lord is wanting you to be very very careful of this person right they don't mean you any good at all some of you have come so far right your book writers your music producers you know you have your own salon your stylist it could be a barber you know, this person, whoever it is, they are close to you and they are jealous. This is not, you know, something that the Lord wants you to take lightly. The Lord wants you to be aware of your surroundings. Be careful of the people that you, you know, um, come in contact with, that you, you know, hold dearest and nearest to you. And I want to give you the first scripture that the Lord has given to me to give to you. So we're going to be in Galatians chapter 5, beginning at the 26th verse. And it says, we must not become proud. We must not become jealous of each other so that we cause trouble to one another. And I want to take you to the next scripture that the Lord has given to me to give to you. So this next scripture is coming from James chapter 4, beginning at the second verse. It says, you want to have something for yourself, but you do not get what you want. You even kill other people. You try to take things that are not yours but you cannot get them. So you fight and you quarrel with each other, but you do not have these things because you do not ask God for them. Even when you do ask God, you do not receive anything. That is because you ask for wrong reasons. You just want to use these things to make yourself happy. So the Lord doesn't want, you know, um, someone to be, you know, envious. He doesn't want anyone to be jealous. I mean, you have not... You have not because you ask not. And a lot of times when you ask, you have to make sure that you're asking for all the right reasons. And this spirit is trying to hide because they know that they're not trying to ask for the right reasons. They're waiting on the moment to take your place. They're waiting on the moment to take your ideas. Again, just like you're waiting on the right moment for the Lord to bless you, you know, they are waiting for the right moment to betray you, you know, to um, take what you have. And I want you to know that what's for you is for you but the lord wants you to be careful of this person to be mindful of this person and to know those who labor among you you have to know those who are in your presence who are in your circle not just for the good not just for the bad but to just know and be aware of what the lord is saying to you don't be so caught up you know to where you don't take out the time to hear god amen amen let's go to the throne of grace 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we come to you as humble as we know how with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, we thank you for the word that you've given to us on today. And right off the top, we silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative. God, I ask right now that you help us to put an alarm system on the blessings that you have given to us, Father Jesus. God, I ask right now that you allow us to take peace with us wherever we go, Father God. God, give us a spirit to be able to, you know, discern, Father God, to know who's for us and who's not for us father god and god show us how you want us to love them father god show us how you want us to treat them father jesus and god we ask right now that you take control you have your way not our way but you have your way in jesus name we pray that you make every cricket place straight right now father god i ask that you touch their heart in the name of jesus we pray amen amen and amen Amen. Shalom in the Lord, meaning peace in the Lord. Amen. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is the year of answered prayers, and we are not stopping until we make hell nervous. So as the Lord downloads to me, I'm going to upload to you what the Holy Spirit gives to me to give to you. Thank you guys for your prayers and your support. If you need a prayer request, don't forget to email me. I'm doing emails only. Thank you for your super thanks. Continue to sow into this ministry as the Lord lays it on your heart. Thank you guys. And you know what? I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you in the next video.